Hey everybody, Abolitionist Jay here with today's vlog. Uh, I'll start off, I apologize if there's any wind coming through. I'm sitting outside right now. It's currently about quarter to nine on June 17th, 2018. Today is Father's Day. Uh, I, I don't care about most holidays, including Father's Day. I actually put out a piece this morning on Steemit that... Uh, I actually wrote a couple of years ago, but it had never been put up on Steemit, so I decided to reshare that today since it's a few years old, but the, the feelings still hold true. Uh, I actually made a little video of that earlier today when uh, Murder Dog and I traveled down to uh, Oak Beach in uh, the town of Babylon to go hang out for a while, and uh, I'll probably put that one out tomorrow since I've already put out a couple of things today, uh, including this vlog, which will be coming out short, which will be posted shortly, but... Anyway, so yeah, today's Father's Day, and I actually realized after I recorded that video that I think I, I didn't bother to look at the date at all, and I think I said it was the 15th, but, you know, as we've learned, I'm having problem with numbers out here. Anyway, so yeah, today's Father's Day, and I don't normally care, but, you know, obviously, as I've talked about recently, I've had enough issues seeing my kids anyway, so not that I wanted to see them on Father's Day, but I would, you know, would have w wanted to see them today. Unfortunately, both my wife and... Uh, and the uh, one of the girls are even worse today than they were yesterday. So I told them, you know, not to even bother coming out at all, because uh, well, they need they need their rest. They need to feel better. And uh, so yeah, so Murder Dog and I spent the day, well, not entirely alone, but it was just going to be us, because uh, I found that out pretty early on that we probably weren't going to see them, which was kind of a bummer, obviously, um, you know. But what are you going to do? They're sick. It it sucks, but. So Murder Dog and I instead we uh we found we, we ended up sleeping in the same spot again last night and again there was no issues although I we ended up sleeping like I, th I think I slept till 7:30 which is late for us and then uh, I didn't actually get up cuz for once I didn't have to pee right away <laughs> and I ended up nodding back off again for for another hour but when we got back up at 8:30 it was already starting to get warm in the vehicle cuz it uh it was pretty warm today for a while, and it was already starting to get warm at that hour, so I needed to get us out of there and uh, get Murder Dog out to go to the bathroom and whatnot, and you know, and then try to figure out what we were going to do. Uh, because it was already getting that hot at that hour, I didn't want to risk leaving her in the car to go take a shower, so we skipped that today. So my string is broken, although I may actually get one just after midnight tonight because Planet Fitness is open 24-7 during the week. Only till 7 p.m. on the weekends, but apparently they open back up at midnight tonight uh, to start Monday officially. So I think after midnight I can go back in there and take a shower. So you know we 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 didn't have that to do, we didn't have that to do. So we just kind of drove around, found some Wi-Fi, took you know took care of uploading some things, and also trying to uh, look at a bunch more things because uh, apparently I I went over. I don't have a limit with the program with the with the phone service I have Ting. They don't have limits, but you also don't have unlimited data. And apparently, when you reach a certain threshold, they automatically shut your thing off, um, and they warn you via email. But since they shut my shut my uh, mobile data off, I couldn't get the email, so I had no idea what was happening. They ended up turning it back on because because my uh, billing cycle ends today anyway, so it's going to get started over again did teach me a valuable lesson that I, I'm definitely using way too much uh, mobile data while I'm out here. And while I've said before that I've, I might consider going back to an unlimited plan, I think for the next month, I'm just going to try to be more careful and try to, you know, really only use the, the mobile data a couple times a day and then focus on, you know, only dealing with pretty much everything I have to do on social media and Steam and whatnot uh, when, I'm at wi when I'm near some kind of Wi-Fi. I mean, obviously, all my uploading and stuff is done when I'm, when I'm, at, when I'm near a Wi-Fi source. But, uh, you know, just checking things during the day and, and looking stuff up uh, tends to add up. So I'm going to try to be careful for the next month and we'll see what happens at the end of uh, at the end of July. And if it's still or, you know, close to the end of July and if it's still, uh, you know, if I'm still out of control with that, then, yeah, I'll definitely consider getting a, uh, a different plan with a different company. Unfortunately, one that does offer unlimited, which I, uh, you know. I hate the whole contract thing and all that and whatever. And I've had issues with all the different service providers over the years as far as actually getting service. So we'll see. But that, that's what I'm going to do for now. So I took advantage of some Wi-Fi this morning. And once once it became known that you know I definitely wasn't going to see the kids, uh, Murder Dog and I went to go hang out at One Dog Park for a little while. Uh, you know, it was kind of hot out still, so she didn't want to do much. She just kind of wanted to wander around and then just lay outside, which is fine because you know she needs to be out of the car. 
And then we took a d- drive down to Oak Beach and uh, hung out there where, like I said, I shot that little video and just kind of hung out for a while. I mean, it was it was hotter than it has been, but down by, right on like right next to the water, there was a nice breeze coming in. So if I left the you know if, if I left the black back glass open and uh, all the windows open, Murder Dog was actually pretty cool inside the car. So I just kind of hung out around there, and then after I shot the video, I decided to sit down and do some more editing and proofreading of my friend Shane Radliff's book, which now I am more than two thirds of the way through. I think I only have like twenty pages or left to go to go, go through. So. I will hopefully get more of that done tonight, although it is Sunday, and I normally start getting ready to post up the new Seeds of Liberty episode for Monday morning tonight, so when I get near Wi-Fi, I got to take care of that first. I have to upload this. We'll see what kind of time I have left, and then uh, then we'll take it from there. Uh, if not, I, I will hopefully finish it tomorrow. Either way, I plan to have it finished before uh, before I leave for the F- Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest on Wednesday, um, and which you know I talked about in my, my earlier video today that... Uh, I still plan on going. I'm not sure what's going to happen with the kids and wife now. I guess it depend, you know, it's going to depend on how sick they really are come Wednesday. Uh, but because I bought these tickets four months ago, this has been planned for you know longer than that. And you know, I don't get an opportunity to see my and fam other than this for the most part. I and, and the fact that I just I need this. <laughs> I I've needed it badly since last year's one um, because of everything that's gone on. So I still want to go. And obviously, you know, I just came off of a week of saying that uh, I miss my kids because they were away from me and I didn't get to see them. And if they're not able to go, this would be another one of those situations which would technically be my doing. But you know, like I said, I made this plan. Um, I, I I really you know want to go. I want them to come. You know, but if they're sick. Uh, canceling it, you know, I can't just make this time up. This it won't come back again for another year. So, you know, we're gonna have to deal with that. But hopefully, hopefully they'll start feeling better, and then we can uh, all head out that way as a family. Anyway, you know, so we did that, and once uh, once we came back from the beach, I ended up coming to another dog park, the one at the, where the uh, marina is located, where we used to stay until we were so unceremoniously removed a couple of nights ago. Um, and there was, there was a couple people here when we got here, murder dog just kind of did her thing wandering around. And then everybody ended up leaving except this one, one woman who had, uh, a little dachshund in the uh, smaller dog park. And, uh, she started talking to me through the fence and then asked, you know, explained that she was fostering the dog. And then I asked if, you know, since it was just Cameron over there, if she could come over to the bigger dog park and, uh, see how they interacted because the dog had some issues and stuff. And we ended up talking for a couple of hours actually, because well, you get me talking about animals, especially dogs. And especially if you're asking me questions about behavioral stuff. Yeah. I, I won't shut up until, unless you tell me to, uh, <laughs> or unless I absolutely positively have to go somewhere. And since I had nowhere to go. I stayed and talk and then, you know, a bunch of other people started showing up and uh, it was actually a really great experience because uh, this woman was all worried about this dog, you know, and because he had issues and, you know, she was fostering him and trying to do her best, but she was having all these problems and she was really afraid how he's going to react around people and he ended up being great and I, I kept trying to explain to her it's really a lot of times with this it has to do with the energy that's around the dog. And uh, I was pretty calm, <laughs> which, you know, may be a rarity for me, but although it may have something to do with the fact that I may or may not have it had an edible Rice crispy at some point. But anyway, um, <laughs> you know, the dog ended up being great and then a bunch of other people showed up and I was talking, to, you know, talking to a bunch of them. And it was just it was a nice afternoon because the temperature started to drop. So it was a little bit just a little bit cooler. So it was really nice to hang out there and. You know, we stayed there for like three hours and Murder Dog actually ended up falling asleep a couple of times. But I knew she was just, you know, she was happy to be out of the car and just chilling outside. So uh, I let her stay there for a while. And then after we were done with that, you know, I uh, after about three hours or so, I figured it was time to move on. So we're actually we're actually still in the park now. We drove up a little ways so I could use the bathroom and then cook myself some dinner. Uh, unfortunately, I had some problems with the camp stove tonight. Haven't quite figured out if it's the camp stove or the new canisters I bought because the original one that my friend Lori had lent me, uh, given me, had uh, finally ran out of fuel. And I had purchased two more. I had purchased two replacement ones. Uh, I wanted to get the same brand. I think I mentioned this when I did it. I, I had wanted to get the same brand, the Jet Boil ones that she had given me, but it was going to take too long to have them shipped through Amazon. And they don't sell them around here, uh, apparently. You can get, like, the Coleman version. So I figured, all right, I'll try that one. And I tried both the canisters. One of them wouldn't light at all. Like, it would, like you 
put the little stove on and uh, release the valve and no gas was coming out whatsoever, even though the tank feels like it's full. So I switched it to the other tank and then that worked, but then went out after, uh, after a couple of minutes and not the, the flame didn't go out. Well, the flame went out, but not because the, it got blown out because the gas just stopped flowing. Um, and then I switched it. I tried switching it back to the original canister, which hadn't worked and then all of a sudden worked and then I had to mess around with it and then I finally got it working so I'm not really sure what's going on I hope it's not the stove I mean I said I was going to replace Lori's anyway but it would be kind of a shame if uh, this little thing that I've been so thrilled with only had like you know 10 or so uses out of it and then it's done because uh, I was planning on getting a lot more use out of it uh, but we'll see so like I said I, it ended up cooking I was able to have my soup and uh, I, I was good to go and uh yeah after i finished that i uh, unfortunately i didn't get to wash my i you know i actually have like you know soap and a, and a little sponge with me i was gonna go wash my uh my bowls and stuff unfortunately i locked up the bathrooms here at the park just before i was gonna do that so i'll have to uh, take those with me and maybe wash them at planet fitness later or something but you know other than that i figured since it was still light enough out i would uh i would do this now um as i can see my face is already starting to get darker on the screen so it's probably good that i started this right now um, one other thing I learned today, uh, interesting, <laughs> interestingly enough, I, I think I mentioned it yes, it was yes, I think it was yesterday's vlog. I said, all of a sudden the camera started working again with no issues. I didn't have to keep restarting the laptop because one of the updates apparently finally fixed it from windows and one of the windows updates rather, because it, my laptop wanted to keep updating like three or four times in a row. So apparently there was a crap load of updates that kept coming through. And then of course I went to go record this. And all of a sudden, the camera wasn't working, and I had to restart the computer anyway. And this time, it didn't say it wanted to uh, add any updates. It just would re it would just restart. And I think, unfortunately, just like another problem I had in the past with Windows 10, they finally get an update to fix it, and then the very next update knocks it back out again. <laughs> I had this problem right after I got Windows 10 originally, where shortly after that time frame where they said you could revert back to uh, whatever you know windows operating system you're using beforehand when you uh when you downloaded the windows 10 for free you had like 30 or 60 days or whatever it is sure enough like within like days of the time limit running out when i decided fine i'll keep it all of a sudden my taskbar stopped working like you couldn't you you could only use some of the uh the, the buttons on the tag you know some of the buttons worked most of them didn't they were there they just clicking on them did absolutely nothing um, you couldn't even use it to start uh, start up or restart the computer or anything. I had that problem for months, and they would finally get around to doing an update where it would fix it, and then the very next update would knock it back out again. So, unfortunately, I think that seems to be the issue again here. Hopefully, the next update will bring it back. So, anyway, uh, like I said, since it's starting to get dark out here, I'm going to uh, I'll, I'll wrap this up now because, you know, like I said, we, di we didn't do all that much, although it was, it was a good day, aside from missing the kids. You know, I... Uh, it, it would have been nice to be, it would have been nice to be with them, but you know I, I I do understand they're sick. I mean I'm a little miffed that they're sick because it seemed to happen as soon as they came back from their vacation. So chances are they caught it while on that vacation, um, which of course just makes me even madder about the whole situation. But in either case, they're sick and I feel bad because I, I wish you know especially my one daughter is, is apparently she's just you know feeling horrible today. So I feel really bad for her. Wish I could at least give her a hug or something, but. Hopefully they'll feel a little better tomorrow. I mean, I'm going to see them first thing uh, pretty early anyway because I have to go pick up my miner, my, my cryptocurrency miner, because I, I finally got in touch with my friend who said I could who said I could drop it off at his place and keep it there for a little while. So, well, as I'm still trying to sell it, so I'm supposed to go pick that up, drop off Murder Dog um, with the wife and kids, uh, so, and also I want to get some uh, some wash done before. We, before I head out for Michigan and while I used the laundromat the other day and don't necessarily mind using it again they do charge by the pound and I don't want to wash these big blankets I think I might have said this yesterday but yeah I'm, I'm gonna try she's gonna she said she would wash the blankets for me so I figure I'll do that tomorrow while murder dogs already out of the car so I could take the big one on the floor that she uses and get that washed too and then my plan is to go drop off the miner and then I gotta head out a little further east from that to go to the storage unit to go pick up uh, the rest of the camping supplies and stuff in hopes that the wife and kids are going to be able to make it. And then, you know, I'm supposed to go buy, uh, get, get that new tent and whatnot, the canopy. I still haven't done that yet. And now I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to buy, if I should buy it or if I should wait till the last possible minute to see if they're definitely coming or not. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that was my plan for tomorrow. And then, uh, like I said, hopefully the kids will feel a little bit better and I can at least hang out with them for a little bit tomorrow afternoon or something. But yeah. We're, uh, we're getting really close to uh, when I planned on leaving for Michigan, so 
we'll see what happens in the coming days. But I will sign off for now. I know I kept saying that, but uh, my, my face just keeps getting darker and darker on the screen. So I'm going to sign off. Uh, thank you, everybody, as always, for watching. Thank you again for your continued support and all your comments and uh, suggestions. And uh, thank you, everybody, who keeps uh, upvoting and re-steaming these vlogs i really really appreciate it uh actually kind of got a couple of uh, you know big numbers in the past two days well at least, at least by my standards i mean i know some people on here get like you know hundred dollar posts and stuff like that i'm nowhere near that big yet but you know anything over five bucks always gets me excited and i got a couple of those this i got a couple of those in the past two days so thank you everybody who passed my stuff around and uh let that you know let, let that get out there to more eyes I, I do appreciate it because i've mentioned before steam it's one of my was one of my long-term hold plans for crypto but it is nice to start building that uh building that little steam pile up so thank you again everybody this has been abolitionist jay and uh i'll catch you tomorrow peace y'all